precision cooker with sealer and bags. Now, this is a term that I've heard at a couple of restaurants. This is a term that one of my chef friends was discussing the other day, but I'm not well versed on it. So, of course, the Blue Jean Chef is here to tell oh, us all about it, to teach us. Hi. Hi. This is so exciting. One of my favorite ways to make a meal. And if I have you know guests coming over for dinner, I sous vide things because I know I won't make a mistake. Interesting. And that to me is the beauty of sous vide cooking. Yeah. So sous vide means under vacuum, and that explains nothing <laughs> to us, right? So here awesome. I'm gonna explain to you. Have you ever, let me set a, a theory here. Have you okay. ever been worried about overcooking a steak? Every time. Or undercooking a chicken breast? Every time. Or, or just ruining dinner altogether? Yeah. And this method here will actually take that possibility out of the question. Okay. Because what sous vide cooking is, it's like super slow cooking. Oh. So it takes food, puts it into a bag, removes the air, hence creating a vacuum. Now we can ignore that whole vacuum conversation, right? right. So you remove the air just so that the bag will sink into a pot of water. Okay. And then the sous vide circulator keeps the water at a temperature so precisely that it is impossible to overcook the food. Wow. So I have just done a steak here at about 130 degrees okay. which is about medium rare okay. now when it comes out of the bag it's gonna, not going to be brown on the outside so you do a quick sear I did it honestly a minute per side okay so a minute per side and then what I end up getting is a steak that is medium rare beautifully cooked all the way through from edge to edge. Now what you're gonna look at this steak and you're gonna see is that it's not just pink in the center, yeah. it's pink all the way from the top to the very bottom. And if you look over here at these three steaks that we cooked, one at 130, one at 140, and one at 150, you'll see medium rare, medium and medium well, but oh, from edge to edge edge to edge you know you don't have just something in the middle so the outside is not overcooked while the inside is perfect the entire steak is perfect and that was done just by controlling the temperature just by of the water controlling so the temperature of the water right in front of the steak on the table right directly in front it shows you everything that you're going to get so let me walk around front and point um so here is the actual machine that you're seeing do the temperature controlling work. So right here, it says Cook's Essentials at the top, but this is your precision cooker. Now you're also getting a vacuum seal pump right here. So if you wanna help take the air out of your bags, you can. You're also getting five small bags and you're getting five large bags. So the recipe book that comes with it gives you 12 recipes to get you started. You can always go to bluejeanchef.com. She's got an ebook for sous vide and I she do. has a tab for sous vide recipes on her website. But this is customer top rated. And if you own this, you can absolutely give us a call at 800-395-1601. It's $91.98. It's on four easy payments of $23. It's now back in stock because this has been very popular. It's very popular and it's so easy. So if you have the ability, I know, and tender, right? So here's the thing. We know Whoa. about slow cooking. Slow cooking makes foods tender and it gives makes them luscious and delicious. Well, well, think of this. You take your steak and you put it into the bag. You seal it shut and we even give you a little clip here that you can slide on to make sealing it even easier. Just run that clip down there, it's sealed. Now down here on the table, I'm gonna take the vacuum out because you also get a vacuum pump. So with the five large bags, five small bags, you can take out all the air and create, you know, if you have a food saver at home, you can use that. Ooh. If you even have just freezer bags, you can do that. Wow. And then you drop this into the water, whether it's this kind of a container, a stock pot, a bucket. Honestly, you can do this in anything. Now you put the, you set the time and temperature. If you go to bluejeanchef.com, there are a whole lot of mm. cooking charts there. It'll tell you how long to cook. But this steak can cook in this water for one hour or up to six hours without overcooking. To me, that's incredible. So if you have the ability to close a zipper sealable bag yes. and the ability to press buttons on a microwave, I can do that. You have the full skill set to sous vide cook and know that when you cook, see that steak? Evenly cooked from edge to edge. That is real precision cooking. And what that means is now you could, I mean, with the result that I just tasted, mm -hmm. I could get a lesser grade of meat and know that Absolutely. I'm cooking it in a way that it's going to taste like I spent a mint on the money. Or try or cooking meat. salmon. Again, this is just a regular freezer bag. You could cook salmon in here and have it like 
like butter. It is like butter. It's beautiful. You're or, seeing the reviews too. Folks are, I mean, the, the review that just went by said best steak I ever had. Right. Came out of the sous vide. I've tried poaching eggs. They were perfect, another reviewer said. Yes, and I'm going to show you the eggs <laughs> in a minute. But even things like carrots. What about this? A pulled pork. This sat in the sous vide bath for 12 to 18 hours. Now, you say, wow. what, 12 hours? But honestly, you're in bed. You don't care. You're, you know, you're sleeping when this is cooking. And yeah. look how it just pulls apart, Mary. And then you can take some of your barbecue sauce, whether that's a you know, the North Carolina vinegar barbecue sauce or more of a southern style barbecue sauce. And I want you to try this because this, let me tell you, I have to confess, I was snacking on it before you came over. Maggie wrote her review and she said, I had to read the instructions twice because the process was so easy. I yeah. thought I left a step out of the process. See, it's so true. <laughs> And then you get, I have to take a smaller bite because it's television. Yeah, it is. But look at that. I forget too. Beautiful shredded pork. And I'm, I'm, this is so delicious, Mary, I can't wait. Oh my gosh. I know. It's so tender. And that it's cooks just so like this. so tender. And look at all that flavor in that bag because all Stop the juices it. from the pork stay right in the bag. So you've got this beautiful pulled pork. You just stuck that pork butt in there with some spice rub on there and it cooks beautifully. So I can use my own pot, my own bucket, my yes. own whatever. I don't need a cooking vessel. How much water do I need to use? All you have to, there's a minimum and a maximum line okay. on the circulator. So okay. you use that much. But here we go. This is a poached egg and I poach them. Now poached eggs don't need a bag because they have their own vessel, right? Okay. But when you poach an egg in here, <gasps> it comes out of the shell poached. Look at that. And then I'm going to pierce that with the look at this beautiful yolk inside. Mind look at that. blown. But here's the thing. I poached 12 of them, 12 of them at one time. Right. So I don't have to. I have a brunch I've coming over. I've got 12 yeah. people coming over. I can poach all my eggs ahead of time. I could even do it the day beforehand, put them in the fridge, reheat them in the sous vide circulator, and then have beautiful poached eggs and everything's your master. I have to tell you too, if you're thinking, okay, well, what size pot does it fit on? There's a large opening here with almost like a little vice thingy. Right. Um, so take a look. This, as long as your pot or bucket doesn't have a diameter and bigger than, no, I'd say yeah. two inches. Right, right, and that's your rim, way, I mean, yeah. You're way good. So that's just the rim of your pot, just to let you know, well, what size will it fit on? It's gonna fit on just about anything. And then how often have you been to like your new coffee shop these days and you see sous vide egg bites on the menu? These are sous vide egg bites. You can see them down here on the uh, plate. Look how pretty those are. You could make yourself 12 little sous vide egg bites. And when you do that, oh, this whole jar goes it. into the water like that. You could do it. You could have breakfast for the whole week sitting in your fridge. You come out, you take your jar lid off, you pop that in the microwave and you've got a beautiful little frittata. Wow. Right. So um, our return policy is in place for the holidays. So oh, you, can have, you can have an extended time to actually give sous vide a try in your own kitchen through the end of January. So you can use this in your home, gift this to the cook in the family, and you still have through the end of January to send it back. Four easy payments of $23. Once you're out of bags, use a freezer safe bag. It is something that cooks all over the country do when they use their sous vide at home. What did you make in there? Look at this, can you smell it? It smells oh phenomenal. My gosh. So this is a beef stew. Again, this is a recipe from my little mini ebook, but that is so simple. And I'm gonna get you another fork, here you go. Oh my, But Thank take you. a look at the <laughs> meat here and how tender how tender that is. And when you look at this, when you look at your sous vide pork, pulled pork or your beef, what you're gonna notice is on the inside, it's not gray. That meat is not overcooked and gray. It's beautiful and tender and um, pink, which is what we want. infused to a next level. I know, because it's super slow cooking. Wow. Remember that, super slow cooking. A Couple of other things I wanna show you, homemade yogurt, mm. right? Homemade yogurt in here, so, so easy. And then one more thing you gotta try. Oh, let me put down my beef fork. Um, the little chocolate pot de creme. I'm gonna grab one you too. You in there? Oh, you wanna take off your stable take support there. Right here. This is so easy, so delicious. Stop it right Seriously. Now. I see, I dug in too because Stop there's no right way now. I'm walking away from a table with these on them and not having one. How do you feel about chocolate on an emotional level? Serious. My relationship is very, very serious with chocolate. I take chocolate. it seriously too. Mm -hmm. I like it when she talks because I get to hammer down the photograph. We'll never be separated. Mm. Sous vide. Mm -hmm. I'm in. So easy. I'm in. First day presented with four easy payments. Save $20.81. It's precise. Mm. 
easy and no more overcooking on four dollars and twenty three cents. If I take have pot de creme, will travel. Oh please. That's oh why thank you. Jar, so you can take it with you. Wow. You know what? Is it? Is this one okay in the jar too? Mm -hmm. Can I take one to Rick Roman? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Blue Jean Chef. Thank that was you. awesome. Thank you. Um, this is still in the kitchen with Mary. Rick Roman is coming up next with our gadget drawer item because we know a sharp knife is a safe knife. But what we've been asking for is a sharp shark gift set that also 